In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use Slider Revolution's Samurai Full Screen Carousel Template as the basis to create a unique product carousel for a fictional nutritional supplements company. A written version of the tutorial is linked in the description. Let's start by changing the background images. A few options for going about this are discussed in our written tutorial, but for this video, we've used an external image editor to create a background image as well as four separate product images for each of our slides. Each image is sized at 1300 pixels by 1024 pixels. Select your first slide. Go to Slide Options and Background. Click Media Library and upload your images. Select your first slide's image. While on the Slide Options tab, you can change the name of the selected slide in the middle of the toolbar there. Repeat what we just did for all of your other slides. You'll also want to go to Module General Options, and under Layout, scroll down to Module Background. Toggle Use Image to On, and select your base background image from the Media Library. Depending on the resolution of the screen you're working on, you might not be able to see the whole slide in your workspace. You can use the Canvas Magnifier tool at any time to help with that. Save and Preview. We're only looking at the desktop version for now. Responsive design for smaller layouts is best done last. Next up, we want to edit each slide's title and description. On the first slide, select the title. Under Layer Options, go to Content and modify the text layer content. You can modify the description in the exact same way. If you want to make changes to the title or description's font style, including changing the font family, its color, weight, and so on, you can do that under the Style tab. Repeat what we just did for all the other slides. Be aware the fourth slide's description text doesn't wrap the same way it does on the other slides because it was originally meant as a call to action. To change it to match the other slides, simply go to the Size and Pause subsection and change Width to 50%. Save and Preview. Let's modify the buttons next. Go to Module General Options and click Skin. In the Global Color Skin panel, change the skin color to something that matches the new color scheme better. You can save your color choice as a preset to make it easier to reuse the color on other slides later. Select the button layer and change its text under the Layer Options Content subsection. If you want to modify the hover effects, you can do that in the Hover subsection. Let's just change the On Hover background color to yellow. Let's also give our on hover button four pixel rounded corners to match our standard button design. To change what the button does when clicked, select Actions. The current action is Next Slide. Select it, then change the action type to Simple Link and type in the URL of the product page you want to link to. Repeat what we just did for each slide, then save and preview. Now, when you hover over the button, you can see the hover effect and the link URL. This template uses the cluster add-on for particle effects. To modify the effect, select the cluster layer and then go to the cluster subsection. There's lots you can play around with here. Refer to our written guide on the cluster add-on for more information. Note that the fourth slide in the template doesn't have the cluster layer. If you want to add it, click Add Layer and choose the cluster. Select Size and Pause and set the size presets to cover. Now, go to the Cluster subsection again and choose your preferred options. Save and Preview. Let's replace the navigation tabs at the bottom with something a little simpler. 
Go to the Navigation Options tab and the Tabs subsection. Toggle Tabs Type to Off. Go to Bullets and toggle Bullets Type to On. Pick your preferred bullet style and then customize your choice using the available settings below. We'll keep it simple here by making just a few color changes. Save and preview. Finally, let's modify the header. Go to Slides and select Global Layers. You can delete the entire header if you don't want one at all, or you can adjust each layer in the header in exactly the same way as you change the title and description on each slide. Just remember, the seamless background panorama will only appear on desktop view. In order to fit on tablet and mobile screens, part of your background images will be resized and the edges cropped. Because of this, you'll want to double-check the responsiveness of your design on smaller screens. Use the Responsive Variant switcher in the editor to check your different screen sizes and make any modifications necessary. We've included a link in the description to additional tutorials on responsive design if you need them. For the most part though, Slider Revolution's automatic changes will get the job done. And that's it! A simple and very fast modification of the Samurai Full Screen Carousel template. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy using Slider Revolution.